I'm pretty excited for this one, I am not gonna lie. The last time I played this thing, it was an absolute low tier monster, so hopefully that's still true. Enough babbling though, let's get into it. As we get into the match here, I'm just gonna warn you guys that I'm treating this way more as a having fun session over a vehicle review. <laughs> because if I remember correctly, this thing is absolutely cracked for 2.3. Typically, right about now is when I would be telling you guys how you should be flying it, what you should be doing, how to play it, all that good stuff. But, no matter what you do in this thing, you'll probably find success, so I'm just gonna mess around and have some fun, see how many kills we can get. And hopefully I'm not dogging on noobs too much in this video. You know, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. It's in the name of content, it's okay. Anyways, we got a MiG-3 coming towards us here. He's probably pitching up for us, so I'm going to energy trap him. Fly off to the side a little bit, get out of range of his guns, and now we commence the turn. Put our flaps out, get a little bit of a quicker turn. His nose was pulling around kind of fast there. But now he's doing all the work for us, and we can just turn in right behind him. We'll bring these wonderful guns to bear. These are the Finnish 50 calibers, aka they do plenty of damage. And there we go our first kill. Looks like we don't really have anybody else at altitude threatening us, so I'm gonna dive down and have some fun. <laughs> but there you go, it's as easy as that, fellas. I mean, to be fair, that guy kinda did all the work for me, energy trapping himself right there. But I read his speed, how fast he was going. I kept in mind the performance of my plane and what I might be able to accomplish. Kept honestly less separation than I would've liked to have. But at the same time, I avoided his nose, so it didn't really matter. Anyways, let's line up a shot on the CW-21 here. He sees us coming. See if we can get some aimers. And that's a fire. Kill number two, hopefully. Let's take a look, make sure he's not pulling after us as we zoom back up. And there we go. Kill number two. We got like three or four, yeah, four people back at their airfield. I'm going to fly over this direction and see if we can pick up any more. Will these guys all take off? This guy gave me an excellent. Let's say thank you. I know, I know. Where's the shameless plug? Unfortunately, not today because I'm not live. At least not right now. I'll be live in like an hour. Make sure you check the description for the link to my Twitch. Anyways, I think the rest of the enemies that were up are getting cleaned up here. So I'm just turning back around to see who I can pick off here as they take off from their airfield. Looks like we've got a Yak-2. That thing is kind of scary. I've heard some, uh, how do you want to call it, propaganda about that thing. I also don't want to get too close to the airfield here, but we should be okay. And look at this, this guy's also being nice and doing all the work for us. Let's pitch up, keep the separation, we have plenty of energy to do this, he's going to be energy trapped. This Yak-7 is kind of scaring me, but we should be able to dive on this guy before he reaches us. Let's just take advantage of this guy's weakened energy state. Nimbo stalking his prey. Hey yo. Okay, guns. There we go. Finally did some damage. Uh, let's zoom out of there before we get shot by this Yak-7. And hopefully that's kill number three, fellas. Easy as that. Oh. Gotta dodge this guy. Matrix real quick. Ow! That was not very nice. Alright, let's turn back around here. I'm gonna have to avoid his nose, but once we do that, we should be good. Pitch her back up. Oh yeah, there we go. Commence the energy trap, fellas. I'll keep it horizontal so I don't bleed too much speed here. 220. That's plenty in the Swede Buffalo. I mean, Finnish Buffalo. And look at that. We're already pulling into him. <laughs> he's he's smarter. He's diving away. Uh, never mind. I take back what I just said. Let's take some, some shots and scare him. Aimers in the chat. Critters. Oh. Okay. No damage. Hits. There we go. Finally. Good job, Nimbo. Aimers came back. Now we got a MiG-3 and a Wellington behind us. Let's take care of that MiG-3 first. I'm just zooming back up to bank my energy. Damage report. Slightly orange. Alright, now we're going to turn around. We got a 109 helping us here. Very nice. He says three left in the chat. We'll keep that in mind. Thank you, teammate. Thank you very much. Always work as a team. See, I'm going to go for the Wellington here because I'm greedy and I want more kills. I'm leading too much. I'm used to the 151s. <laughs> we got some sparks. Nothing nothing really more there. Some more sparks. Oh god. This is not a good place to be. I'm gonna stick it out though because I'm a Chad. Okay, he's on fire. I'm out of here. Ah! Swedish Buffalo, very strong. I mean, finish. 
Alright, hopefully he burns up. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. Oh, fuel tank. He's taking some damage. And speaking of taking some damage... Uh, my damage report is not looking so good right now, fellas. <laughs> I'm just gonna fly over in this direction. Maybe this guy will head on me. This guy's coming to me. Come on, brother. Come to me. I'll let him know I have no engine. In the meantime, though, we'll be glad over here. I got an ace. Yep, I think this thing might just be as good as I remember it being. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be good enough to get us over this mountain, though, fellas. I'm not feeling so good about this one. This guy could come to me if he wants. Yeah, there you go. Here, let's give him a... Uh, how, do we, how do we tell him to come to us? Follow me. Yeah, there we go. Follow me. That'll help. Now we're now we're definitely gonna win. Actually, he's coming to me. Let's see if we can pull onto target here. Come on, Nimbo. It's so hard to aim. This isn't my fault. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Never mind. GG's. Let's put smoke out so he knows that uh, this isn't my fault. And there we go. Hey, the Wellington got the kill. <laughs> Out of all things that are going to kill us, of course it has to be the Wellington and not some, like, fighter, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think we did our job, though. I mean, we still have a few teammates left, and there's only a Yak-2 on their team, so this should be a win, I think. I don't know, let's see how this dogfight is going. Oh, it's not going great, is it? This is intense. Alright, never mind, I take back what I said, this is not intense. I'm going to play one more. Uh, fine, I'll wait to see what the rewards were and I'll let you guys know. See you guys in a second. Wait, is that? <laughs> I just got a camo from that? Dude, that's sick. Hell yeah. Thank you, Snail. I wonder if it's any good. If I had to guess, probably not. Probably not. Probably not very good. Okay, I may or may not have just realized that the rewards don't update when the game finishes if you're in the mission in progress screen. So we're moving on. I'm going to spend my crew points here because I forgot to do that beforehand. Imagine that Nimbo moment. Uh, let's check out this camouflage though. I want to see if it's any good. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll use it. Let's get into the next one. So this is boring. Oh. Oh. Okay. As usual, all you gotta do is complain a little bit and the snail listens. Thank you, snail, once again. By the way, if you were curious, I use air target belts, and I take minimum load fuel because it's 36 minutes and matches only last for 30. Think you can do the math on that one. Toxic Nimbo in the chat. <laughs> I know I said before that you can pretty much do whatever you want to in this thing, but I might as well go into a little bit of detail about it. Not too much, though, because I'm telling you, it really doesn't matter that much. This thing is so good for 2.3. I start off the match just like any other match. Go off to the side just a little bit, start climbing. And I try to avoid people with significant energy advantages to me. That's about it. If you can lure someone into a turn fight or an energy fight, you're probably gonna win. As long as it's not like a Zero or a Spitfire or whatever. But even then, if you just use energy, you're still probably going to win. <laughs> so yeah, that's about as technical as I'm going to get in this video. <laughs> I'm sorry to those of you that want some stats and that type of stuff. Let's check the stat card, by the way. I forgot about that. I don't know what my KD is in this thing. Alright, so I have 3 deaths and I have 19 kills in the B239. I don't know what the exact math is as far as the KD goes, but it's high enough. I'll just throw in here that the main thing about this plane that I love, aside from, you know, doing whatever you want to in it, is the guns. These finished 50 cals are just so satisfying to use, especially at a BR so low, like 2.3, where not much else has anything that good. We got a P-39 coming for us, though. That's actually kind of scary. He's at pretty equal energy as me, so let's just avoid his nose in this first turn here. And after that, we should be good to go. And we turn just enough to avoid it there. And now we throw it into a turn fight, because why not? I don't think he wants to fight us, though. Honestly, probably the smartest thing he's done all day. Mr. Fart Moose 69 Respect. Alright, no one else is really threatening up here besides that P-39 all the way over there. Do I really want to sacrifice getting all these kills just to make sure we win the match? 
Yeah, whatever. I'm probably just gonna head on this guy because I don't have time for this. He has slightly more energy than me here. He's going pretty fast. And now he's also at higher altitude. I think he's gonna try to energy trap me, which is not a good idea. If we can get some aimers, that would be nice. And there we go. Kill number one. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Kill number one. Now we can dive down and treat this like it's a farm. Honestly, the only real drawback of this thing, I don't even know if I should call it a drawback because it's honestly not too bad, is the ammo count. Like you guys saw, I can still pull off ace games pretty easily with the amount of ammo I have. It's just kind of something to keep in the back of your mind. Anyways, let's dive on this guy, see if we can pick up another kill here. He is a P-38 though, so he'll probably just dive away. I got a hit on him. I'm going to pull off of that. I'm going so fast. Look at this plane, fellas. And the energy retention, too, through that. Oh, we got a P-39 following us. Let's energy trap him. Just like the rest of them. Here we go. Commencing the trap. Oh, we are golden, fellas. Look at this. We'll uh, reverse the turn back over here. Make sure no one else is around for the meantime. Oh, he's still coming up. That means we'll go up even higher. And now we pull it back over. This guy's screwed. <laughs> P-38's coming back in. I don't think he'll have enough energy to reach us here if we keep this turn up with the P-39. So we'll do that. And aimers. Wow, that damage. I told you these guns were good. Maybe we can energy trap this guy too. Imagine that. Another energy trap. It's no wonder I love this plane so much, dude. Look, Look at how easy you just energy trap literally everything you face. <laughs> if this guy's smart, he'll dive away. Looks like he's doing exactly that. I'm going to keep my altitude here. Oh, got a 109 diving out of the heavens. Cool. And the 109 is no longer with us. Rest in peace. I don't know who I should really go for here. I think this guy's probably RTB. SPD is probably the least important target to go for, but everybody's pretty low. I'll just get this guy out of the way. Why not? Uh, the AAA is getting kind of shifty here. I'm going to try to make this quick. Let's see if we can get some aimers. Anybody feeling some aimers in the chat? Critters. That's some nice damage. Oh yeah, there we go. Little bit of aimers, not too bad. Kill number three. Let's get out of here. This AAA is getting a little too close for comfort. I don't know where the P-38 is going. I guess they're going to their airfield over there. And that kind of sucks. I think our engines hit. I'm going to RTB. I'll probably just go for this P-40 on the way. Why not? I love AAA so much. I just love that it hits me when I'm far away from the base and not when I'm closer to it. Know what I mean? Did that guy just crash? Okay, he just crashed. Let's go back to base and try to secure this win. We love AAA. Woo! At least I'm going to make it back to base, I think. Yeah, we'll be alright. Damage report. Slightly yellow. I've decided to show you guys the landing and how we do it over here in the Nimbo Squadron. Join up, by the way. Shameless plug opportunity. I'm going to seize that. Anyways, no gear because gear is just unnecessary. Honestly, you should just rip your landing gear off on takeoff. It's not worth it. It's just extra weight. Oh my god. Um. Alright, well I was trying to show you guys my famous wing tap landing. And it didn't go so well. Let's just move past that. I think those were some pretty good games to showcase this plane. <laughs> Definitely not my piloting skills though. Also, let's just not comment about this camera angle right here the same way we're not going to comment about that landing attempt let's swiftly get back into the hangar another game where i can't show you guys the total results because i didn't stay alive long enough oh well um <laughs> as far as this thing's modifiers and economy goes don't worry about it dude who cares you're going to be acing every game anyways and the only time you're going to die is when you crash trying to land so <clears throat> I'm assuming you don't have skill issues. Oh my god, I got another camo? Bruh. Alright, we gotta check this out real quick and then I'll end the video, fellas. Let's see. Is it any good? Wait, that's not it. Let's see it. Is it any good? Ooh, that's actually kind of spicy. I like it. Nice. We take those. Was the uh, <clears throat> landing worth it? Sure. Yeah, we can, we can say that. Anyways, fellas. <laughs>
It's about that time I draw it to a close. I think I've had enough of dogging on noobs for the day. And no offense when I say noobs, by the way, I just mean lower tier players. I have way too many years of experience in this game to not be dogging on people at this tier, so there's that. <clears throat> I'll stop being an asshole now. <laughs> Hopefully you guys liked the video, and if you did, leave a like, a comment letting me know something you liked about it, or if you're going to go play this plane, and consider subscribing and turning on post notifications while you're at it. Oh yeah, if you want to look at the stat card, there you go. Just know that it doesn't matter and you're going to crush anybody in this thing. Regardless, you all know the deal. This is Nimbo Soup, Nimbo signing out.